In coffee roasting, one of the most effective tools, aside from cupping, is color measuring. This is a Lightel CM100. I probably use this thing 20 times a day. As far as having a reliable, we have to have a reliable tool in place to get concrete measured data about the coffee for each roast so we can then be consistent and reliable. So each roast will get measured first, whole bean, and then we grind the same coffee, same batch, and we'll measure both and then we will put them into our coffee roasting software so we have that historical data. So we'll put it in roast value one will be whole bean, roast value two is always our ground coffee. And that way we can always go batch to batch and make sure there isn't any variation in the color. And then we also cup each batch to make sure. So, we're gonna... so this is super simple to do. Level it out. We're gonna hit measure, enter. We're gonna go up to whole bean, boom. So we got 64.5, which this is a light roast, so I wasn't too surprised with that. So we're gonna jostle it around. So we're gonna say about 63, 63. average. Okay. So then we're gonna take, what is this? this is the Ecuador Imbabura. Um, this was last, is it last month's Roaster's Choice? So. Yeah. Um, very, very good coffee. I'm gonna put my roast value 63 in roast value one. Now, normally your ground color will be a lot lighter. Ground, so we got a 72.7. So the higher the number, the lighter it is. That is correct. 30s are the dark roast, 40s are medium dark. 50s are mediums, 60s are lights, and 70s. So, so, so what does this thing actually do? Like, how does it work? It's a, uh, I guess it's a light spectrometer. So you have the light, and then you have the measuring device in the top. So it sends a flash of light, and whatever reflection comes back up is how it's measured. And and you know, before this, they had cards where you would set a card down okay. and you would put the coffee beans on top of the card. Oh, like a color splash. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you would have this this binder full of, yeah, that was, that's how we did it in the old days. Okay. Back in the day, we just found something, and, okay, what's well, about that color, yeah. And, uh, but yeah, so my second value, I'm gonna plug in about 70. Nice. So that way, the next time we roast this, We'll do the same thing. We'll do a cupping, and, and I also already cupped and now analyzed this one. Anal yeah. Analyzed. Um, but yeah, we'll do the cupping and then we'll do the roast values and then we'll have all that information. So the next time we do this and it's anything is off, we've got that data and we'll find out what went wrong. There it is. Oh, error. It's way too light. Okay, gotcha. All right, <laughs> Cool.